Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make a line from a table so that you can calculate or uh, just find the slope of a line. So we have been given a problem where on rectangle ABC, if A is located at 3, 4 and B is located at 7, 6, we're trying to find the slope of the perpendicular side BC. In order to figure that out, the knowledge we need is that the sides uh, meet at 90 degree angles, so they are perpendicular to each other, and that if they have a perpendicular slope, it means that they will have opposite reciprocal slopes. So we need to find the slope of AB and then find the negative reciprocal, okay? So first thing we need to do is create a table. To do that in Desmos, Instead of just typing in uh, an expression like normal, you're gonna to wanna to hit the plus button, the add item directly below the Desmos logo, and then click on table. Um, you can label these differently if you choose, but it's really not necessary. This is just X sub one, X, Y sub one. And I'm gonna put in my first point. My first X is three, and my first Y is four, for point three, four located at A and you'll see that it pops up right here on the graph. Then I'm gonna point it, uh, put in the second point of my rectangle, which is at seven, six. So X is seven, Y is six. And now I have myself a lovely second point of my rectangle. Remember, you can recenter this. Okay, so now at this point, I have the top and I need to find the slope between those two points. Um, if you want, you could probably just count between the two points, but it can be a little challenging when they're farther apart. So it might be helpful for you to be able to create a line between them. There's a number of ways that you can do this, including a linear regression. However, I find the easiest way is just to hit this gear that says edit list. And that's going to allow you to add some features to your table. Once you're in this, you'll notice that this turns all green. Click on that and it, you can change the points. You can change the color. So you have a lot of options there. Okay. Um, and you can also allow yourself to be able to drag the points or move them around. But the one that we're interested in right now is this one that says lines. And you'll notice that right now it's off. And if I turn it on, it creates a line between my two points. If I turn it off again, it goes away. So just toggle that over to on, and now you have a line between your two points, okay? Then once I have finished that, I can click done. Now this is pretty helpful for me because it makes it a lot easier to find the slope between two close points. Instead of having to count rise and run from here all the way to there, I'm just gonna find two points on this line that are close together. So if I follow the line up, the next intersecting point is right here. So now I'm gonna count my rise over my run, the legs of my triangle. My rise is one, and my run is two. So the slope of this line AB, the slope is equal to one half, rise over run. Now, um, the difficulty is here that we're trying to find the perpendicular slope. So instead of finding the regular slope, we need to use the negative reciprocal. So the negative reciprocal slope is going to be equal to negative because it's positive, so it will become negative. And then you flip it over. One half becomes two over one or just negative two, okay? So the slope for that problem is negative two. I was able to solve that by inputting my points into a table by doing plus table and including my X and Y's. Then by going to edit list and changing my preferences by clicking on the dot, turning on the line. Hope this helps.